everybody, and welcome back to Dire Straits UHC Season 2. Uh, this season is a rigged team of three with custom terrain and a custom pack, but if you watched Episode 1, uh, you already knew that. Who knows though, you might have skipped Episode 1 because typically, uh, especially from spec POVs, there's really boring. But we start off with some action this episode, as Saya gets poisoned by a cave spider immediately. And then has to run away from several more cave spiders, or lest he get a uh, he get poisoned down to half a heart, because he's not at half a heart at this point. That this was an aspect uh, which I was really happy about, which is uh, people running from cave spiders further into the darkness, and then just getting absolutely lost, which we can see <laughs> Saya suffering <laughs> from right now. Saya breaking one of the cave spider spawners. Too bad he's surrounded by three other ones. Sam still in no armor. Surprising. I feel like armor... Actually, now that I think about it, armor wouldn't really be that much of a priority because, I mean, the main thing you're going to be getting hit by in this game mode is, uh, is cave spiders. So once you get hit by a cave spider, then armor becomes a lot more important. But until then, like... You're really not going to be running into any other mobs that you need armor from. Um, okay, so here we had Gavin. Gavin is at half a heart, uh, but his team is mining pretty well. Smear up to 15 diamonds already. Sheesh. He's going X Games mode, dog. Rocket up to 20 gold. Wacko mining a pathetic 7. Jesus, wacko. Couldn't get any, any more carried. Spear breaking that spawn. Oh, <laughs> there's a cave spider hiding from him. Okay, you gotta get another spear. Already up to 12 diamonds. Uh, people are mining pretty well so far, it seems. Who's this? This is Gavin. Gavin up to 6 gold with 1 from a minecart chest, bringing him 1 away from being able to heal. Also, he has no apples on him, I'm like pretty sure. I'm not really sure what to talk about because a, a lot of what's going to be going on for the next little bit is just uh, people doing through the uh, the you know the, the caving motions. Like we're going to be able to cut back and forth when people get poisoned or people mine. Samir getting a diamond chest plate. Greeple's going to the surface. Interestingly enough, I start episode two going back to the surface. Cyclone having a power 4 book. Missed out on that when I was cycling through before. RA shifting. The only person he is near is Parker Mize. He has not put that efficiency 4 on a book yet. Or a pickaxe yet. Living up to 16 diamonds. Sheesh. Oh, Jesus, Gavin. That is That was fucking scary. It jumped at them. <laughs> he placed the first. <laughs> oh my god. Gavin is not in a good spot right now. Did he have the Oh my god, no, that furnace was already- I thought he placed that furnace. That furnace was already there and there's gold in it. Oh my god. El Gavino. So, uh, while we watch Gavino struggle around for a little bit, I'm gonna talk about something that you guys probably don't care about, because you've probably already seen the intro, but, uh, Today, as of uh, the, as in January, well, I guess yesterday now, because today is a, it's 12.30, so today is technically the 4th, but the 3rd, um, when Dire Straits Episode 1 came out, um, another thing came out that I was really happy with, which was uh, the Spellbound UHC Season 7 intro, which I made. It was the first ever intro that I have made, and, uh, you know... <laughs> I was relatively happy with it, you know, it's kind of, when you're in a community filled with um, a lot of talented editors, you know, people like Phenom, people like like Rocket, people like uh, even Sid Garcia, like, pe like, it's very hard, or it, Higgy, Chibi, just to name a few others, not specifically saying, but, you know. Um, it, it's hard to not compare yourself to uh, the best of the best. Oh, so holy shit, Parker has three-fourths diamonds. How far are we into this episode? 
I just hit tab. I didn't see. But Ari also has a diamond chest. Wait, Ansmir has an enchant table. The first enchant table of the game, I believe. Um, anyway, uh, it's really hard to not compare yourself to, like, the best of the best intro makers and editors. And, oh my god, Gavin, you're about to die. <laughs> this maneuver that he's pulling off is so funny. PL. Thank you, Etho, darling. Oh my god. <laughs> Hero Brian noises. I, I do love the uh, the strategy in put into place by Gavin here. Uh, it's too bad, though, that it doesn't work out. <laughs> Gavin is our uh, our first death, unfortunately. <laughs> Died with uh, with seven gold. <laughs> I feel so bad for Gavin. He's a uh, he's gotten so unlucky these these two seasons of Dire. Even they've been played so um, as far apart, but he gets so unlucky every time. And hopefully, uh, season three will go better for you, pal. But anyway, as I was saying. Um, I, I think I am relatively happy with the Spellbound intro. It's just hard to, uh, you know, it's it's. I think it's pretty solid for a first intro, but it's pretty hard for me to not compare myself to the intro makers, which you know, are are really good in this community. So uh, I think that for a first intro, it's pretty good. But if I ever do make an intro again, there is a lot that I'd like to uh, improve on and you know work, work harder on. But you know, I, I made it in about a week, so I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, so Greenville's inventory is filled to the brim uh, with milk buckets. <laughs> My god. Ninja's here. He's not even full iron. He only has an iron chest plate, and he's getting the milk buckets tossed in. <laughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, so now Smear and Cyclone are a team of two in this game, now that Yavino has passed away, unfortunately. Uh, I still am of the opinion that Smear is one of the stronger people in the round. Um, I think that as of the time of recording, um, the top three is probably some combination... Oh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Um, top three players, probably some combination, or I'll, I'll do top four, because there's, I think there's a definitive top four that I can say, uh, and they would be R.A., Crow, Smear, and Wizard, Wizarde. Um, Wizard and, uh, Crow both could not make this season, unfortunately, but R.A. and Smear were probably the, the top two players um, when this season was played, and then I'd consider them to be uh, even more the best players in the game. Or I consider Ari even more to be one of the best players in the game nowadays. <laughs> oh, Sam is still not have any. Ar he has 44 iron, but he just has not made any armor. And he's just like fighting these regular spiders. I mean, I guess that's how you uh, you get string when you. Uh, Prophecy says that you don't want to engage with any cave spiders, but he's taking quite a bit of damage to these spiders, so I don't think it's very useful. Parker mining even more diamonds. Three diamonds off a of full diamond already. He's he's going kind of crazy with it. Who is this that we're around? It's still Parker, alright. Parker also has 33 gold, doing really well in the, the caving department. Gavin checking out his own team. Spyro up to a whopping 60 gold already. Absolutely insane. Got two diamonds as well. He's only near his teammates. Um, I guess it's pretty obvious at this point, but a, a lot of teams were uh, kind of... Because of how big the map was, or, or how little players we had, each team kind of had their own uh, corner of the map uh, to themselves. So... Um, a lot of teams were uh, caving near each other, even though they it didn't really feel like it. They were still all uh, pretty close to each other. Also, I just want to say, oh, Jack just found a fortune book. I think, yeah. 
uh, shout out to Folk Tales Season 4, which is uh, where this game was originally from. I don't think I brought that up last episode. Or maybe I did. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just repeating myself. But uh, Folk Tales Season 4 was the round that originally used this game mode, this uh, team or er, g- terrain creation style. Uh, it was the myth of the Minotaur. Everyone had a, uh, a Rari skin. And I'm not talking D. That was hilarious. Sam with his first diamonds of the game. Uh, a Niner Niner. I cannot open up that chest. <clears throat> Who am I teaming team to? Greeples. Greeples back in the caves. Inventory full of milk, I assume. After passing some to his teammates. Open up the Wacko Dipper inventory. He's got one gap on the bar. So you're making an anvil. Oh, but I TP'd the Spyro. He's not, he's not who I thought I would teleport to there. <coughs> oh yeah, Spyro's just cooking up like his 10 gajillion gold that he has there. <coughs> very interesting, Ari Sika. Very interesting. Smear crafting a rod. I can't believe that's a thing in Spec Info that it tells you when people craft rods. That's so weird. Is Smear still the only person in this game with enchants? I can't. I genu- Oh no, RA has enchants as well. I, I genuinely forgot already. I have the memory of a uh, small infant toddler. Sam mining more diamonds. 11 now. So we're going up to surface. We'll see if he goes and meets up with his teammate, or else, or if this is just a uh, a resources trip for him. Didn't check his inventory. Don't actually know. Hmm. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about what pack I'm using, this is uh the Grooven pack, but it's uh, Tiago's. I think it's Tiago. Yeah, I think it's Tiago's edit of the pack that uh, brings all of the the textures into the uh, 1.18 <coughs> uh, texture pack style. I really love uh, what Tiago did with this, uh, with, with all those packs, like bringing them into the new style. Oh, so there's still five Iron Men left. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really love what Tiago did with this uh, style of packs. Like, it, I think all the packs look really good with this with this style. But I think that the Grooven one is probably my favorite. It looks really good. I haven't used them uh, as much as I would I would like to. I'm trying to remember if I've ever used one of them in a round. I don't know. I don't. I can't be bothered to go and look it up right now because I'm recording. <laughs> Uh, doing uh, doing post commentary for me is definitely something new. Uh, I, I figured I would have to do it in uh, in this style to kind of because uh, I, I didn't want to have it be a uh, commentary that would be you know it, it wouldn't be fun to watch because it would be vinyl and Etho Dolly like, talking to you, uh, nothing basically. And I wanted to have my my own commentary on the season to kind of talk about it. And I think this is the best format. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is me and Vinyl seeing that <laughs> there are diamonds at the end of a hallway for Evan, but because of how dark the game is, he, he can't see it. <laughs> it's just out of his uh, peripheral vision. Feels like this is the first time I've TP'd a rocket in a while, and I immediately fly away and look at some minecart chests. That's, that's what 90% of the spec POV is, is just flying around and looking at, uh, at minecart chests. Oh, I tabbed out and looked at the discord oh I was giving uh, I was giving Etho Dog the uh, season 2 rank so that you could see the season 2 chat Gavin why didn't you swap in for me again to Leon I don't understand that I don't get that oh my god there's so many minecart chests here Jesus I was only hired to do it once what are they talking about is that a spoiler money ran out I, I, just ignore that chat. I should have ignored that. Whatever. Got a lot. Of, I don't even know why I had command spy on for this. I, what what was I thinking that people were gonna do? People gonna do some cheeky cheating? 
the only thing that it actually gave me in terms of an advantage was uh, I got to see the smear message Keelan and tell him to kiss him before the game started. And I saw that smearing. And cheating on me. Fucking bitch. <laughs> what is he? Like, oh, Evan got hit by a cave spider. That's a. I think that's a new person to get hit by a cave spider. Just uh, going down the checklist of everybody who needs to get hit by a cave spider at some point during this game. <laughs> I think a lot. I think most people have. I don't think all of them. Oh, Evan finds the first creeper of the game. Haha. -ha. Am I right, chat? That's so funny. That's so effing funny, guys. I'm so hilarious. <laughs> he just got it's, it's one trial before he gets to the uh, the diamonds. Oh, previous Iron Man Greeples gets hit by a cave spider, but immediately heals it off with milk. I I really like that uh, a team went for milk, <laughs> having the the balls to go for that uh, alternative alternative strategy. It's quite interesting. I, I think it was especially interesting because they uh, they made the conscious play to like be like, okay, we have to get out of the cave, like completely disconnect ourselves from the caving flow we had, and then just go and and get that. And uh, obviously, it was paying off there because uh, there was a chance that Greeples got pretty low from that uh, that cave spider. Not sure how low, but. You can actually check how low people get from poison in this, uh, on Arctic, which is really interesting. You can see how people have, or how long people have, uh, certain effects for. Like, say, if you had absorption for a certain amount of time, you could see, uh, where people were. Uh, Greeples just made half diamond, and I don't think I was paying attention to it. Oh, no, I, I figured that out. I'm so smart. Evan making legs. That's the one piece of diamond armor that I think Parker is still lacking. Already up to 21 diamonds. Sia in full iron. I want to see Parker. How's, how's Parker doing? What does he have in terms of gear now? I don't know if we actually uh, saw him complete the set. Evan up to 17 diamonds. That team is mining insanely well. Ari also making the diamond leggings. Evan making diamond boots. Does Parker have the full diamond yet? We don't know. Oh, Smear did meet up with his teammate. Did meet up with Jack. Smear on the surface. Another team that just completely decided, uh, caving isn't worth it right now. Let's, uh, let's go do something else. <laughs> Which I respect. Because, uh, caving, caving in those caves can be, like, uh, absurdly, what's the word, uh, daunting, I guess would be the word. Just, like, Taking a break, but it's always good. <laughs> Parker asking MU F five or six. I don't think I respond for a little bit, but uh, meetup is episode five during the season. I don't think that was actually established anywhere. Um, but meetup is episode five because generally, uh, with with this uh, game mode, I feel like. I feel like you just kind of need to do the thing where it's like, okay, well, people experienced it for like a little bit, but we don't want it to get too stale. And along with not wanting to have it too stale, this is also a, a 15, uh, now 14 player uh, UHC, and I feel like sitting in a cave for uh, nearly two hours uh, when when you have a 14 player meetup to look forward to isn't a, isn't the most interesting thing. Along with that, I also feel like, uh, past a certain point, it is kind of hard to die to the cave spiders. Um, like, the cave spiders are really scary, and they can make you lose a lot of your resources, but past a certain point, I feel like the cave spiders are, are quite hard to die to, especially if you're playing pretty careful. Like, I think you might get hit by, like, a few, like two or three cave spiders show up over the course of a game, but I feel like it wouldn't be wouldn't be that many. Uh, it seems like there's 20 seconds left in this episode. So I just want to go ahead and say thank you all for watching this episode and this season. And, uh, you know, as Livin and Spyro J crouch waiting for the, uh, the blood moon to go away, uh, 
Uh, see you all next time. Thanks for watching.